Hello, hello friends. This is Albina. Welcome. Welcome to Manifest Mondays. Every Monday I get here on Facebook at 11 o'clock and I get to share with you whatever inspires me at the moment. And it all has to do with shaping your reality and manifesting your destiny and living a life beyond your wildest dreams. Today I want to remind you that we live in a perfect universe. Everything in this universe is perfect because this universe, our world, is based on the universal laws and these laws are perfect. And whatever, you know, if you understand those laws and if you learn to live in harmony with these laws instead of resisting or um, trying to you know, somehow like not live in accordance to these laws. If you live in harmony with these laws, I do believe that you get to experience effortless ease. And when I talk about those, these laws, um, it's anything from the law of gravity to the law of abundance, the law of prosperity, the law of circulation, the law of attraction that everybody talks about, right? And let me just tell you um, a little bit about myself. I used to run 12 businesses. I had seven yoga studios, a juice bar, an online platform, a retreat center, my coaching business, et cetera, et cetera. And um, at some point I sold my seven yoga studios. And at that point in my life, when I took a year off to travel around the world with my husband and kids, I decided for myself that I will never ever work that hard ever again because I knew deep in my heart that there had to be a better way, that it didn't have to be this hard. I didn't have to work this hard. And ever since then, I've been on this quest to, you know, find or embody the effortless ease, a state of being where instead of doing, you are simply being, and you do less and you receive more. And what I realized is that you know, living your life in accordance to these universal laws will absolutely help you get there. So today I want to talk to you um, about the law of rhythm. And um, rhythm is in cadence. Rhythm is a, in a certain beat to this universe. Yogis call it spanda, the universal beat. Everything vibrates and moves to a certain rhythm in this universe. These rhythms establish seasons, cycles, stages of development, and patterns. Each cycle reflects the perfection of God's universe. So you can think about it as the waves in the ocean, the rhythm of your heartbeat, right? Um, the circadian rhythms. For women, it's our moon cycle. Um, I mean, if you look at nature, you will find that rhythm is very obvious in nature, right? The tides um, that are coming in and out. Um, so the law of rhythm states this. Everything flows in and out. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. The pendulum swings manifest in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. This is the law of rhythm. What does it mean? What does it mean in our everyday life? So let me just explain something. If you're anything like me, you know, I, I do confess that I tend to lean towards the workaholic side. You know, I work all the time because still on some level, so much of my worth is um, wrapped up in how much I do and how much I accomplish. And, um, you know, a lot of times this doing, I actually love it because I'm so connected to my passion and um, working for me, the work that I do is so much fun. And at the same time, I tend to go, 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 and go. And then, especially in the past, when I ran all these businesses, what, I would, what would happen is I would get just deathly sick for like a week. And I'm literally unable to do anything. So at some point in my life, I noticed that anytime I 
like lead something that requires lots of energy, giving of energy, like leading a teacher training or something like that, I would get sick immediately after. So when it happened three, four, five times, I started noticing the pattern and I um, started shifting that pattern. Instead of giving without nourishing myself, instead of leaking energy, I was more aware of where am I leaking energy so that in order for me to give, I have to also nourish myself. That's a law of circulation, by the way. But these days, you know, I think we all have um, the ups and downs, so to speak, the ebb, flow and ebb of our life, right? And sometimes we think, at least I do, that, you know, I only want to have really great days. I only want to have days when I feel connected to the divine. I feel uh, creative, productive, inspired. And the days when I feel what I call it under the funk a little bit, um, I make it mean something about myself. Like the days when I feel uninspired and I don't do anything productive, you know, I, I tend to feel a lot of shame and I beat myself up for that. And it's actually not correct. The law of rhythm, the pendulum swings to the right and then exactly in the same way to the left, right? So if you have a really productive day, it is only normal to have a day of rest. Are you with me? This is important, you guys. If you have um, like a moment of creativity and flow, right? Everything is moving, then it is only natural that this pendulum will swing the other way and it's possible that you'll need to go and refocus your attention elsewhere and go go do something else whatever falls needs to whatever rises needs to fall do you know what i mean so those natural rhythm and swings of life it's a law of the universe now listen to me because i spent so many years of my life only going 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 and not really spending any time in resting and enjoying life um, and celebrating the fruits of my labor. Now, the law of the rhythm says it swings to the right and it swings to the equal measure to the left. Now, the secret, the secret as you shape your destiny, as you shape your reality, is to bring the pendulum swings to balance more to the center. It's like the Taoists call it the middle way, right? So um, the way I understand it is when your emotional home, something that you consistently feel, right? If your emotional home is joy, gratitude, appreciation, then those swings do, do not tend to be as extreme. Do you know what I mean? If your day is balanced, if you're constantly taking care of your body, if you're eating healthy, if you're working out every day, if you get enough sleep, if you drink plenty of water, then you don't have those huge swings, not only in your health, not only like working, 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 and then falling down and being ill for several days that, that used to be a norm in my past, then you you make those pendulum swings more in the center do you know what what i mean and you still have those swings but they're not as extreme now the reason why i'm telling you about this rhythms now that you are more aware of that you can you will start recognizing those swings and the rhythms and everything and what i will tell you is when you live your life in harmony with these universal laws that's when you get to experience effortless ease. That's when, when you decide to do something, when you set a goal, when you create a vision, you get to get there much quicker in a much more effortless, efficient way than when you are working against those universal laws. And I'll have to say, in my past, a lot of times I worked against um, those universal laws and I experienced a lot of you know friction. It wasn't as easy as it could have been. So today we talked about the law of rhythm and my intention is to, for several Mondays, to unpack and share with you more of these universal laws in the context of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. I love you and I'll see you next week.